a buyback, a special dividend. So this is good news for the market. We've been waiting for this, a return to dividend. My question, Noel, is this. Is this enough to get Ping An off your back? Well, Manos, I'm really pleased with the quarter's results. Uh, I think uh, a roti excluding notable items of 19.3% uh, uh, is a very good outcome. Uh, we said all along that we believed the fastest and safest way to get increased valuation, increased profit, increased dividends is by focusing on the current strategy. And I think the Q1 results is powerful evidence of that statement. Um, as I said, the roti for the quarter was 19.3%, excluding notable items. And a headline reported profit of 12.9 billion, or if you exclude those notable items, 9.2 billion, excluding those items. Uh, we saw good broad-based growth across all regions, across all business lines. Mm -hmm. And I think the important thing as well is there was growth in the non-NII. This is not all about interest rates. This is also about tight cost discipline and growth in fee and trading income. So that was really pleasing. And our wealth balances um, were, our revenue grew by 13% in the quarter. And what was particularly pleasing was the Net new invested assets into the bank in the quarter was 22 billion. And over the last 12 months, we've had 93 billion of net new invested assets into our private bank, asset management and, and wealth businesses glo uh, globally. So that was really a good outcome. So I think so the you're strategy charging, you're is charging, working. You're charging on all cylinders there. And the strategy obviously is paying. To, to excuse the pun, paying the dividend. I think what the market wants to know, I, I look at this and I see this as you taking, uh, really moving into an, an offense position against your decriers, Ping An, and the other activist investors versus, let's say, defense. You have a 20 meetings, Noel, senior figures from the bank with Ping An. Do you believe that this move to dividend, move to buyback, will now clear some of their angst and put this issue to bed between the two of you? Well, the most important thing is that we're delivering performance, and I think these results show that, that the strategy is working. I'm really pleased that we've reinstalled the quarterly dividends. So we've announced today a quarterly dividend of 10 cents per share. That's the same level that we had pre-COVID. I'm pleased with that. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we've also been able to announce a $2 billion buyback I think the business is well positioned going forward for sustainable profits, sustainable returns, and an ability to generate a lot of capital that can be returned to shareholders via dividend and via buyback. I think that's the most important thing I'm focused on for all of our shareholders, including Ping An. The two billion buyback that we see today, is that step one of a material series of buybacks? Well, I think we were originally planning a buyback in the second half of the year, but because of the positive business performance we've evidenced in Q1, we were able to pull that forward to Q1. I think what I've evident, what I think we see going forward is continued sustainable profits and therefore the potential for a series of buybacks. We've always said that buybacks have a place and they have a place mm -hmm. alongside dividends to distribute excess capital. We want to retain sufficient capital to continue to grow the business. But based on what we're seeing at the moment, we think we have the potential for a series of uh, capital distributions via dividend and buyback over the coming years. You said when when we took the when we took the pre-tax and stripped out the, you, you know the exceptional items that you were happy that this wasn't all interest business. But of course, we want to get your sense whether we are at peak interest uh, flow for you. The Fed will meet this week. The ECB and the Bank of England. Do you think you're at peak at net interest uh, for 2023? The guidance remains steady. I think we've had a good um, NII performance in Q1, but I think it's fair to say we've always said that 2023 will probably be the year that NII tops out because uh, through purely through rates. NII can continue to grow mm -hmm. through underlying growth in the balance sheet and economic activity. But from the rates benefit, we always said 23 will probably be the peak year from a rates benefit point of view. And I think that still holds true. As you go up the rate curve, you get the law of diminishing returns kicking in on how much of those rate benefits yep. you can hold on to versus the competitive pressure.